Wednesday only gets better, with more misery coming in season two. Aside from the fact that everyone enjoyed Wednesday and wish it had to be back for season two, the show has also been controversial in the past few weeks due to the silence from Netflix about season two. But things are now more precise, and it's time to explore the life of the older child of the Adams family again. Before season one ended, viewers saw how Wednesday broke all of her rules to accommodate Enid, especially the no-hugging part. Welcome to Ophelia Hall. Not a hugger. Got it. Still not a hugger. Got it. You're right. Not hugging is kind of our thing. According to showrunner Alfred Goff, it's time to explore this friendship and make it complicated. And that's beginning to sound familiar, because after many fans binned the show, they quickly started shipping Enid with Wednesday and saying the two of them might probably date in season two. Enid and Wednesday tried dating boys for the first time, but they both got disappointed. And now Goff is saying that their friendship might get complicated, and that's something good to look forward to. They both find themselves in a haunted misery that further complicates their relationship. Don't forget that they both had to face hide and season one, and Enid even got to wolf out to defend Wednesday. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's happening! I think I'm wolfing out! So something mysterious might come to pull them apart, or they both start to discover that they might like each other beyond just being friends, and start to deny the feelings, but then it's up to season two to reveal the complications that will torment this great friendship. Goff also continued by saying that they are glad that this friendship between Wednesday and Enid seems to be at the center of the show, and through this they've connected to many audiences who have read deeper meanings to the connections Enid and Wednesday share. So season two will be more about if Wednesday explores friendships further, or starts to hold back, because Wednesday might discover she's become too soft and bring in more rules to avoid another hug when Nevermore finally opens. Aside from exploring Wednesday's friendship, her relationship with her mother Morticia is also something important that will be shown in Wednesday 2. In Season 1, Morticia now knows the power and ability that Wednesday has, and she seems to know more about it and could also guide Wednesday now that Goody might not always show up to help again. Most importantly, there's a stalker at Nevermore who's been following and taking pictures of Wednesday Viewers know that this stalker isn't Miss Thornhill or any of the villains that Wednesday fought in season two, so it's only possible that this stalker hasn't been met yet. But whoever they are, they will be dangerous. But fans trust Wednesday to be even more dangerous to expose the stalker and deal with them. Another cliffhanger that season one ended with was when Tyler turned into a hide while getting transported in a secured vehicle. Tyler is harmless until he transforms into Hyde, and he becomes so powerful that no secured vehicle can hold him down. And Hunter Doohan, who plays Tyler, thinks that the last scene is trying to tell viewers that Tyler has escaped. He said that he was happy to find out Tyler was still alive, and the only thing fans might not know now is if the good part or the wrong part of Tyler would be seen in season two. Tyler was a villain because an evil person was manipulating him, and if that stopped, Tyler could get redeemed and even have another chance to straighten things out with Wednesday. There's another villain in the show that viewers haven't seen the depth of what they can do, and that's the Morning Song cult. Bianca was like the bad guy at the beginning of the show, and now it's understandable the reason she was like that, and why she broke away from her mother and the rest of the cult. But really, the Morning Song could get upgraded to be villains in season two or not. But viewers will see and know more about what the cult is about. Goff also mentioned that many things could happen now that Nevermore is closed for the break. And first has to be the hunt for the new principal. After Weems passes, there's a need to have a new lead at Nevermore who can keep things together and maintain the friendship between the outcasts and the normies. Now, this new principal for Nevermore might be someone the fans have already met, or it could turn out to be a new cast member. But one thing we know is that Nevermore can't 
open again until it gets a new principal. Also, with Nevermore closed, there aren't a lot of mysteries for Wednesday to chase, so viewers will see her finally explore social media. The school is on a break now, and now that Wednesday has a phone, many of her schoolmates would want to check in on her, especially Xavier. Wednesday and Xavier could bond before school opens again, and it's inevitable that they'll be texting throughout the break. With all of these exciting details waiting to be explored in Wednesday 2, most of the cast members are also returning and getting upgraded in their acts to make another thrilling show. Firstly, Jenna Ortega is coming back, as she teased about season 2 in the announcement video by Netflix. Of course, Thing is also coming back, so Victor Dorban 2 will have another season to show off his hand skills. Xavier has been nothing but good to Wednesday, and maybe this time he gets a better chance. But anyway, Percy Hines White will return for his role in season 2. Tyler might appear out of the picture, but that only stops with getting access to Wednesday's life again. But Hyde is still very much around, so Hunter Doohan will return to cause more nightmares at Nevermore. Wednesday had become very fond of her roommate Enid before season 1 ended, so this fondness is just about to take on another level in season 2. Emma Myers will also be returning to keep her shining and vibrant vibrant personality active in the show. It's not so sure if Christina Ritchie will return as Miss Thornhill. Miss Thornhill had a hard time trying to get revenge, but everything backfired. However, if the character returns, it would only be because she gets caught and is made to serve her punishment. Honestly, she's no longer a dangerous threat to Wednesday or Nevermore. As far as we know, Principal Weems is gone, but among the outcasts, resurrection is a thing, and Weems could be back on this path. So it's still possible that viewers will see Gwendolyn Christie again on Wednesday. Wednesday too. We haven't seen her put in the ground, have we? <laughs> very, very true. <laughs> but also, Gwendolyn might have a lot on her hands, as she might be filming Sandman 2 when filming for Wednesday 2 is going on. Still, the actress looks like she might be able to combine acting as Lucifer and Weems together, so it's possible that viewers might get to see her again. In all of these, the Adams family would be returning in full force, and more cast will be added to explore more of the Adams family story while still focusing on Wednesday, of course. If there's anything Wednesday targets so well, it's the patience of the fans, as everyone has been waiting for the excellent news of Season 2's renewal ever since Season 1 became famous. And on the 6th of January, Netflix officially announced that Wednesday would be back for Season 2. It was announced using a teaser clip with some moments from Season 1 while Lady Gaga's Bloody Mary plays in the background, the famous tune that TikTokers have used to dance to Wednesday's moves rather than Goo Goo Muck from the film. Also, Wednesday was right in the clip to usher viewers into a new world of spookiness when she said, over the past few weeks, I've been hunted, haunted, and mimicked millions of times across the internet. It's been pure torture. Thank you. And Netflix added that the misery isn't over yet, as the world-famous show will return for season two. Wednesday's co-creator Miles Miller also can't wait to start working on season two following Netflix's announcement. He said, It's been incredible to create a show that has connected with people worldwide. Thrilled to continue Wednesday's tortuous journey into season two. Netflix's head of US and Canada scripted series, Peter Friedlander, revealed why Wednesday is getting renewed for season two, and it's what many fans already know, and that's engagement. Peter mentioned that Netflix was encouraged by the engagement on the show, and that they know that for the show to be as popularly engaged, it means everyone wants to see what happens next till the very end. And so, Peter added that they are investing in the engagements. He's also impressed with how many fans have gone ahead to buy outfits and make themselves up like Wednesday in the show, and also get to dance like her. And even though Wednesday Adams is a character that has been in films for so long, the impact this particular show has had on viewers is massive. So, Netflix is pumped not only to renew season to, but more when the time comes. Then the creators Miles and Goff are also very dedicated to seeing Wednesday Adams not just through the following season, but to the end. There have been speculations about where viewers would see Wednesday Adams due to the merger between Amazon and Metro Goldwyn Mayer (MGM). But now that Netflix has officially announced that there's no place to see the show than on Netflix, also with the long wait before renewal, Wednesday will have to start shooting starting this year, 2023. So Nevermore will be back again in 2024. So, what do you expect from Wednesday Season 2 now that it's official? Share your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching!